We saw where Shelly and Fraser Price, Tia Clayton and Sasha Lee Forbes went into action for the 100 meters in the first in the heats. It was good heat. We can we are getting to that in in a moment. Um, triple jump. We saw Shaniki Ricketts with her first jump qualification for the finals. It was good to see that Akelia Smith. She also qualified for the triple jump finals with a jump of 14. Oh, nine. Welcome again to Rewrite Narrative where it's okay to be curious, like, share, subscribe with that notification bell for future video uploads and drop your comments. There you go, have it. So day two, day one of the athletic section of the Olympics has commenced for us Jamaicans. And this is what happened. We saw where Shelly and Fraser Price, Tia Clayton and Sasha Lee Forbes went into action for the 100 meters in the first, in the heats. It was good heat. We can, we are getting to that in, in a moment. Um, triple jump. We saw Shaniki Ricketts with her first jump qualification for the finals. It was good to see that Akelia Smith. She also qualified for the triple jump finals with a jump of fourteen oh nine. Shanika um, Shanika Ricketts had fourteen forty seven. Remember, she was the flag bearer for Jamaica, and we are expecting a medal there. The four by four mixed relay. We saw that the Jamaican team had a. A dismal performance, but we still made it through to the final. Some more action there. Josh Curlew in the 100 meter butterfly. He failed to qualify. That's action that we, we saw out of. That's more action from the Jamaicans of 800 meters. Natalia Gould and Adele Tracy. They were in action for Jamaica. The discus women, we saw Samantha Hall in action. And for the men, Shad Post, um, Rajindra. Campbell also in action. So let's take a look at what really happened in the day. In the 100 meters, Shelly and Fraser Price, Tia Clayton and Sasha Lee Forbes, they went in, into action. The first athlete on the track for Jamaica was Tia Clayton. She ran second in eight three with a flat 11. She did not look great. She started out the day. She did not look great. We saw the nerves, but it's her first time. 19 years old, first Olympics. She qualified with uh with confidence and we're gonna cut her some slack and we're expecting her expecting that she will do better we saw where the second time the jamaican graced the track sasha lee forbes also ran second with 11.19 a slower more a slower race more composed she ran second behind tt terry out of the usa and shelly and fraser price also ran second we um with a time of 10.92. Well, that was a good run because she ran, she, she ran second behind Mary Jo Talo, but it was a good run. She timed her run well. She ran ahead of everybody. After she got up to us around the 60 meter mark, she started to, to shut down and then just jog. She just jogged to the, to the, the finish line and it, it gave us a little bit of confidence because after seeing how some of these athletes were performing in that 100 meter heats, we, I was concerned. I, I started to feel a bit of concern for the Jamaican athletes because in the first round, we saw Shakiri Richards, Richardson and she went out, started out slow out the blocks, ran, caught everybody, passed them, slowed down and just go across the line very relaxed very composed very easy 10.94 and that was it was just too easy so i was like all right that looks good she looks good she's the one to beat we all know that she was the one to beat in the second heats we saw julian alfred also out the blocks a much faster a much more um complete race but she also shut down very quickly and she ran 10.9 Five. That was also another amazing race. Darrell Nita in Heat 3. A little bit more effort. She ran 10.92. A little bit more effort. Melissa Jefferson ran second in the heat. And I was thinking that Melissa Jefferson looked like she was composed. But some effort there. But when we saw the Tia Clayton going out there, we saw the nerves on her face. She ran second. And it was a difficult second. She ran a difficult second place. And that's when I was saying, all right, doesn't look good, but she's through to the semifinal. That's fine. In the same breath, I saw Sasha Lee Forbes. She looked composed, but the time was not good. But when Shelly and Fraser Price graced the track with such a fast time, shutting down very quickly, she looked good. I enjoyed that race and everything that came after that because they started out with a, a dismal run, qualified. 
um, another okay run from Sasha Lee Forbes qualified and a great run from Shelly and Fraser Price. She's the captain of the Jamaica team. She stitched it all together and it looked amazing at the end of it. A lot of people could feel very, very good about our chances of getting a medal. Typically, Jamaica would be looking to get a sweep in the 100 meters. It is very clear from the onset that we will not get a sweep. And if we do get a medal in this Olympics, it would be a job well done for the past four Olympics. For the better part of 20 years, Jamaica had held on to the 100 meter gold in the Olympics. And at some point, we even swept. We swept uh, in 2009. We, we swept more than once in the 100 meter. Let's leave it at that. In the triple jump, we saw Shanika Ricketts a jump of 14.47. Her first jump, it was good enough for her to qualify on first try. Akilia Smith, her third try was good enough for her to qualify. Well, these are possible medals here. With the 4x4 four four mixed relay, it's very challenging for us to get a medal. I, I, I don't see us getting a medal there. But we qualified for the finals. Another good one for us. Josh Curlow failed to qualify in the 100 meter butterfly. But he performed. Another Olympian. Got his job done. We have to cheer them on. These guys work years to get where they are. In the 800 meter woman, Natasha Gould, she ran first. In, she, she came first in her heat, heat 6. She ran in heat 6. She came first with a run of a time of 1 minute and 58 seconds. Very good. Very good to see that she went through. Adele Tracy was not the same for her though. She failed to qualify. She failed to advance to the next round. Um, the woman discussed Samantha Hall. Failed to qualify but another successful Olympian. She trained hard. She got there. And we have to give them all the love that we can give them. In the shot put men. We had a qualification time of 21.05 from Rajendra Campbell. And that, 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 that wraps up the day for the Jamaicans. Jamaicans, they did a very good job today. We, 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 we got through the 100 meter rounds, even though Sherika Jackson, who was supposed to be our star athletes, dropped out. We got through. And tomorrow, we will see the ladies in action for the 100 meter semi-finals and finals but before all of that the the men the 100 meter heats for men will start and it will be it's one of the most anticipated event at the olympics with all that the, all the build-up that we saw from the americans versus the the jamaicans with jamaica kishane thompson come going into the olympics with a 9.79 run where he did it effortlessly slowing down and then he took literally took the world by storm with that run everybody have to, had to recognize he's one of the top 10 fastest in the world with three with with hard any effort because he ran at the jamaica trials uh, um three rounds at the jamaica trials averaging 9.81 the first round he ran 9.82 second round he ran 9.84 in the semi-finals there and in the finals he came back and he ran 9.77 shutting down averaging 9.81 9.81 in three rounds amazing and we, if we see anything like this from him in the olympics it should be a gold medal because he shut down in the finals and it was good enough to get a gold medal and the world lead as well as one of the best time in two years oblique seville at jamaica and going into the olympics as well We'd love to see where he is for a while now. There have been a lot of back and forth about who is the best in the world of fastest. Um, Usain Bolt was saying he's backing, he's banking on Oblique Seville because he has the coach for it. He has experience for it. He has, he's, he's a, uh, a strong athlete and he's injury free. So he's, if he should put his money on anybody, it would be, it would be Oblique Seville. Good news for Jamaica. That one and two medal there. Either, either, um, Order doesn't make any difference to me. We get a we get two medals in the 100 meters. Job well done. We haven't seen a gold medal in the we didn't see a gold medal in 2020 because 2021 because the Italian Marcel Jacobs took that home and he's the defending champion. A lot of people have been made in, making predictions and we have seen where the silver medal is. Fred Curley, he's not in the conversation and. Uh, Marcel Jacobs not in the conversation we're seeing the new blood coming up we're seeing where Noah Lyles the fastest man in the world yeah fastest man in the world a lot of conversation to be had but I do believe that tomorrow would be a great day and will be a great day for track and field because the 100 meter heats for men would 
highly anticipated and the 100 meter finals for women Shakiri looking to get her first 100 meter gold for the US in a very long time and the Jamaicans if they have anything to say about it they would want to spoil that party Julian Alfred out of St. Lucia she is looking like she want to show up to the party and with Mary Jo Talu with the fastest time going into the semi-finals she might want to, sh to, to, to destroy all hopes of these rivals getting a medal but with Tia Clayton a sleeping giant in theory from the MVP camp who had had the f last 400 meter titles looking to spoil the party is anybody's get guess at this point would you say that it's a uh, it's wide open I can't say it is wide open but I do know that it will be entertaining it will be fun and we're looking forward to it I want to know what you guys think drop your comments down below and let me know what you think do you think that we will be getting two medals from the 100 meters is there an opportunity for us to get more than two medals you know one from the women two from the men two from the women two from the men I want to know what you guys think drop your comments down below right now like share subscribe